Hey guys, this is Aramis Prime from Nerdy Geek Talk, the source for all your nerdy geek needs, and we have episode 12 of TF Primecast. How you doing? Groovy. Yeah, yep, that is Bob Tanner's Prime, my fellow co-host. Um, okay, so it's been a little while since we've done this, so have you gotten anything new since last time? Well, um, it's both new and old. Um, it is. Actually, I'm very excited about this one. Because we're getting a new version of him pretty soon. And that is, I've gotten a G1 Perceptor off the Magical Life eBay. Nice. Complete? Yes. The only thing it was missing was a text spec decoder. It came with the box? No, it, it they had in the box, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I have gotten... Oh, by the way, uh, Perceptor's tank mode, um, it's stupid. I know you guys all agree, but Eric does not. It's awesome. I've gotten Titan to turn, Deluxe Class, Hot Rod, Double Cross... And then I've gotten, which is, well, Twinferno, but Double Cross. Um, Leader Class, Six Shot, who is amazing. And then Voyager Class, Optimus and Megatron. And I got the four Big Dead Toy Store exclusive Dark Energon Transformers Prime Deluxes, which are Wheeljack, Bumblebee, who is Goldbug, really, but uh, Bumblebee, uh, Knockout, and Starscream, who I think is Skywarp. But out of those, which one is your favorite? Out of those four deluxes, or out of all the figures? Uh, the four Dark Energon deluxes. I really like Dark Energon. You know mine, basically. Yeah, Wheeljack is really close for first, but Starscream, Dark Energon deluxe class Starscream from Prime takes it. That mold, <clears throat> it's the first time I've gotten the deluxe mold. Man, it's so, so good. It's one of the best molds I've ever seen, I think. Like, that's practically a masterpiece. Now, what would you say is better, though? Starscream or Soundwave for Prime Mold Deluxe? Mold-wise, Starscream, like, by far. Although I love Soundwave for totally separate reasons, and he's a really, really good toy, but Starscream's better. Out of all the figures I got, Six Shot is my favorite. Megatron is really, really good, but Six Shot just claims number one. I had to add anyone, because I love Six Shot, and I've been waiting so long for him. But, let's dive into the news. Okay, so, first off, we have movie news. We have, like, three things. <laughs> the first one's quick. There's packaged images of figures for the Last Night Premiere Edition. Um, the only one that I really cared a whole bunch about seeing in the packaging was Voyager Class Megatron. And, man, he looks so good still. So, I'm excited for these. Yeah, um, I mean, I will probably be picking up a leader Meg. You know, I get the Voyager? Uh... I'll see. I'll see what the reviews. Get. It looks good, but I think the leader looks better. Oh, I totally agree. I'm just buying both. <laughs> okay. Because uh, I, I don't want a repeat of what happened with Age of Extinction uh, Grimlock. How the Voyager was all right, but the leader was just was true. really good. True. Like really good. And if you actually, if you want to buy one of those leader Grimlocks, um, let us know. <laughs> Our local Target still has one. But um, next up we have the the Nickelodeon Kid Choice Awards. They debuted a new... Okay, so they debuted two things technically. They debuted a clip from the movie. So like an actual clip of like 45 seconds that is in the movie. And then a little mini trailer, which is like a minute. The clip shows a bunch of little kids, including the new lead girl, um, running away from like an automatic tank, like a drone tank. And they hide under a pile of rubble, and they're like, oh, we're clear. And then the pile of rubble stands up, and it turns out it's a Transformer. Uh, from the trailer, we learned that Transformer's name is Canopy. That's the one we see dying in the first trailer, because uh, it got shot by the tank. Um, we also see the mini Dinobots in this trailer, which i got to say, it's about time we see them in Adam Wait, Tyler. they're actually in the movie? Yeah, they're in the trailer. They like She like wakes up in bed, and like there's like mini slug, and he's like, ah. <laughs> This is either going to go really good or really bad. It's, they're actually, like, adorable and great. Like, I, seeing them in the trailer, I was like, that's awesome. Um, it's a repeat of Wheelie. Uh, um, no, it's not. That's, that's not going to be different. Uh, we see... no, I, I'm, I'm afraid about squeaks with that. 
we should we see um the girl running up to Megatron who's holding Squeaks in his hand and the oh, girl runs geez. up to him Me- saying Megatron um it- do do us a favor and uh, you remember what you did to Jazz? If you could do that to Squeaks, that that would be like just fantastic. Be terrible. Uh, but she's running up and she yells, uh, "Put him down! I'm not afraid of you!" And I'm just like, "Wow!" She's yelling at Megatron, who has an entire Vehicon army behind him. And then you see like all the some bombs go off and like the Vehicons are like there's explosions behind them. They're all chaos. So I'm guessing that's when Megatron's probably gonna drop Squeaks. But who knows? And then at the end of the trailer, we see. Grimlock, they're all in like some little junkyard, and we see Grimlock. Is this up full a size Grimlock car. or mini Grimlock? Full size Grimlock. He's like chewing on a car, and Mark Wahlberg's like, Grimlock, put the cruiser down. And he like spits it out. <clears throat> it's pretty funny. But yeah, the the clip they put an official version up on YouTube. The trailer they only showed at the Kids Choice Awards, and they haven't released it online because. It's like a minute long, and they said that the next trailer, which is going to come out probably this weekend, is like two and a half minutes long, and it's just an extended version of that, so that's why they haven't released that trailer officially yet. I watched someone's recording of the screen of that trailer, and so that's how I've seen it. Now, you know what? Uh, bringing, since Megatron, movie Megatron is in the news, uh, how do you think he's going to transform? Do you think he's going to actually transform? He's or? going to actually transform. Oh, I'm, good. Because I did not really like that about that. I don't, okay, I don't know that for a fact, but I'm like 90% sure he's going to actually transform. That, and I um, really hope he has his prime personality. True. Um, and that then, would be just fantastic. The big news for movie news that we had this week is the InfernoCon slash Infernicus. Um, I don't remember the individual names it's it's okay. So this is Transformers Prime Abominus. They were little Legion glass figures that they were Abominus. That they were adorable. And they are great. Um, However, and, it's not Hunger this time. It's uh, what's his name now? I don't know. I have no idea. They they had the five members, but then there's another torso piece that's added on. So it has a new torso and head to make the combiner, which is Infernicus. And it's a mostly like silver Infernicus, and red. more like Death's head. Yes. Shut up. Yeah, his head looks slightly like Death's head. Not very much, but still some that I was like, huh, that's kind of interesting. But um, the main thing that's interesting about this figure is that it comes with a minifigure of Quintessa. We don't get to see it very much, but it looks like it's clear plastic, either light blue or white. And um, it is not the home of the Quintessons. Uh, well, this time see, I have a theory that it could be like this is a physical representation of the consciousness of the whole planet. And that's what the planet we see going over in Earth in the trailer is not Unicron, but, like, it's Quintessa. And this is, like, Quintessa's, like, mind is, like, able to show itself as this, like, hologram person. I don't know, though. I, who knows? Well, uh, I, I think that she should be kind of, like, the leader of the Quintessa. But I'm guessing that Infernicus, this is a personal guess because the toy's a combiner. I think that if we see Infernicus in the movie that he's not actually going to be a combiner, or even if he is, we're just not going to see Chris Warm. So if even if he he might not even be in the movie, but if Infernicus is well, in the movie, the, time, uh, the last time Bay did a combiner, it was a uh, shut up. It was not pretty. Shut up. <laughs> but um, Infernicus just doesn't. I don't. I don't think he's gonna be a combiner in the movie if he's even in the movie. So we'll see though. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. I'm hoping that Bruticus is in this movie though. Wait, did you uh, just say Bruticus? I hope he is. I'm not saying that he is in any Bruticus, way. Bruticus, there's nothing of Bruticus so far. Wait, there's nothing what? Did you say Bruticus? Yeah, Bruticus. Why? We already have Brawl. Who would Brawl be replaced by? Actually, he's called Devastator. In yeah, well, case. okay, uh, but... Easy uh, workaround. Ah, uh, yes, but we had a Devastator later, so... It, it, it's just really confusing. We had a Devastator, but that... Yeah, I know, but it's still, in the movie, they made the mistake of calling him Devastator instead of Brawl. Plus, they could just make another Brawl or bring him back to life, either way. Um, but, you know, Onslaught's supposed to be in this movie, so I hope that Bruticus is, or they're building up for Bruticus. But who knows? Different. That's a total side note. Um, R.I.D. News. There's a new stop-motion trailer of Warrior Class Soundwave versus Combiner Force Strongarm, Bumblebee, and Swide Swipe. Ah, but not in a firefight, no. In basketball. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah, I definitely recommend watching it. It's really funny. That and um, it's Soundwave and anything with Soundwave in it is, is great. 
that figure looks nice. But um, in RID news, the only other thing we have is the new wave, which has like sound wave blur, uh, sky warp. I think the it's new beautiful. Wave. It kind of looks like steel jaw a little bit, in my opinion. Yeah, I know that's what I thought too. But that wave is hitting overseas and here in the U.S. now, so that's good. Uh, I think my Twitter buddy at TF Pause, I think he found. What do you think? His name is Paul, but I think he found. I want to say Paul. Wave you know who? Sky you know who else is named Paul? Paul. Optibotamus. True. Who will not be reviewing figures full time anymore? What? Yeah. What are you doing? He had to get a job. But that's a different topic that's for true. a different time. Um, Masterpiece news. The only Masterpiece we knew, news we have is Masterpiece Chewy Cheetor's out. And that's nice, but I just want Tigatron. So, announce Tigatron already. Uh, well, actually, there's some more Masterpiece news. Masterpiece Soundwave is great. That's not news. Okay. Yeah, uh, people need to know. If they don't... More news. Oh, you know that lamp we talked about before, the giant Unicron lamp that we thought was amazing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the really cool one? Yeah, yeah, it's it's. It sad. costs more than a leg and an arm. It's like $800 and $900, and so when I found that out, I wanted to go cry in a corner, because I wanted this thing so bad. It, it did look just excellent. So from now, from henceforth, we shall call it the Dream Crusher Unicron. Which, technically, uh, is pretty accurate to what Unicron does. True. He crushes your dreams because your dreams are in your brain. And he crushes all of you, including your brain. <laughs> okay. he, he just kind of does crushes everything. The generation oh, gets stopped by Hot Rod. What's up with that? No, he gets stopped by Rodimus. Yeah, but, I mean... Exactly. But speaking of Rodimus, there is a Rodimus Prime Headmaster in the new Chaos on Velocitron box set, which we now have... Uh, box art is up and it's up for pre-order in Hong Kong. Too bad I don't live in Hong Kong. It's thousand uh, dollars. Actually, Hong Kong dollars, but <laughs> um, you really yeah, got them with that one. And the box art looks really cool. see Fast Lane, uh, Optimus, Quick Switch, Nautica, and you see Titan Master, Rodimus Prime. Hanging out in G2 Laser Optimus's back, which is really cute and funny. You know what? Um, actually, uh, you know... Wait, are you going to get this box set? Probably not. There's just not... I mean, I like Quick Switch, but not. it's just not enough to really... It's something I really, really want. Hmm. Well, that's sad for you, because you're going to be missing out, because I'm going to love this box set. <laughs> but also... Transformers, okay, so the old, the former Transformers Collectors Club, no longer because it's 2017, um, but they're shipping out the Transformers Subscription Service 5.0. That is shipping now as we speak, and I ordered it. So I should be getting the first shipment, I'm hoping and pretty sure, by the next episode of this. Um, so we'll talk about it. And I should have two figures, because the way they're doing it this time, instead of having six shipments with six figures and then the bonus figure in the last one, since it took so long to get them out, they're doing they're shipping them two at a time. So there's three shipments. So there will be two figures in the first one, two figures in the second one, two figures in the third one, plus the bonus figure. So really three in the third one. But I should be getting the first one sometime very, very soon. Make sure you check out my Twitter, because as soon as I get it, I will definitely be tweeting about it. And we'll talk about it on the next episode. But I'm really looking forward to finding out, well, one, who's in the first shipment, and Two, uh, just, I, want I can't wait for Toxitron. When animated Toxicon, uh, animated Toxitron came out of Botcon, I, I think that was really cool. I do. I'm really excited for Toxitron. He's up there with my favorites. Uh, now, the, who is he being repainted from? The Motormaster body. Ah, right, right. Wars, I remember. But okay, remember. he has the, he has Takara's nemesis. Well, no, not Takara. They have. They're using Hasbro's alternate head they had for a Nemesis Prime. Takara did a Nemesis Prime, but they just used the regular Optimus head. This is one that Hasbro made that was going to be a Nemesis Prime if they needed to repaint it, but they don't. Wait, Hasbro did Takara. something original? What? What? You make no sense. Hasbro makes most of the stuff. Anyways, they, they determine most of the sculpting. Takara does a lot of the transforming stuff. But anyways... Um, 
the last bit of Generations news is Titans Return Misfire and Slug Slinger have been revealed at, it was, I think, Australia Toy yeah. Fair. But, uh, man, they look good. Le- like, leave, really it the Austra- leave it to the Australians to get that. They're both retools of Trigger Happy, but, like... No, I'm so kidding. I love Australia. If you're from Australia, you're, you're awesome. They're retooled so much that the transformation is different from Trigger Happy. Really? But um, which do you like better out of the two? Uh, I'd, I'd have to go with Misfire. I might go... Okay, so Misfire is the character I'm looking forward to more, but Slug Slinger, I think, is the figure I think looks better. If you get, you understand what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. Yeah, because especially because Croc's coming out, I can't wait to have a scavenger team. But you don't know what that is because you don't follow the comics. Because no, no, no. I like the comics from what I've read. They're not. I'm not saying they're bad at all. They're awesome. You just don't keep up with the best characters. Sad, sad life. Of Wheeljack is the best character. Nah, he sucks. I'm just kidding. I like Wheeljack, but he sucks in comparison to other people. Uh, <laughs> the only bit of third-party news we have is Ocular Max's Night Beam has been announced, which is their take on this masterpiece, Art Fire. Um, and they're doing it an interesting way. They're doing crowdfunding for it, like sort of like a GoFundMe thing. Yeah. So like you pledge money for it, and if so many amount of people pledge money, like they say they're gonna buy one, it gets cheaper for everyone. Oh. So the more people that buy it, the less it costs because the, it saves them money through the factory and stuff. Yeah. Do that. So, yeah. I don't know how well that's going to turn out personally, but I mean... I'm curious, and I think it's a good idea. It's a uh, good idea, but make sure practically, I don't right know. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I want to see how it works out. I'm kind of excited for it, just to see how it works out. That's because this is only like a one-figure thing. I don't know. I just don't really know how well that would work out. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm interested. I think it's a good idea to to pioneer and hopefully perfect it at least one. But, um... Because not yeah. really a lot of people bought the original Art Fire when it was the Voyager. This is a totally different thing. Wait, wait it's... Or no, it's a masterpiece. Yeah, no, wait, never mind. I'm, I'm thinking... Is this still Art Fire Billion Pub? Uh, this is the one with the white cab. It's like art. It's like uh, Inferno. Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. It's art. Yeah, but that's my cat. But yeah. Um. But yeah. I remember it being by a, a company called Million Pub. It's expensive because it's nice looking. It, but um. Yeah. You know what? You know what else is expensive because it's nice looking? Unicron. Ah, oh, shut up. You're right. I I but, feel your pain, shut up. man. Stop reminding me of it. I wanted that. As you're much. putting salt in the wound, man. Okay, um, but make sure you check us out next week because it's possible we might be doing an interview with someone. Oh, uh, yes, not please gonna, tell them. Not, not going to say who yet. Okay, or not wait, finalized. wait to tell them. But they may have a connection with, well, you might know them by the name Repo Labels, but Toy Hacks. Uh, but yeah, they, they have a connection with them, but I'm not going to say who yet because we, we haven't finalized anything. I just asked them if they'd like to do it, and they were like, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, so if we get that worked out, maybe it'll be next week, maybe it'll be in a while, who knows, but hopefully we will have our first interview. Um, guest star. I, I mean, well, I really wouldn't count Ray as a guest, but I, where is... Hang on, guest. Who knows? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, but yeah. Oh, also make sure you check out Radio Free Cybertron if you never, if you didn't watch the Toy Fair news and you want to catch up on Toy Fair news, not just for Transformers, but we do talk about Transformers a lot, but also other toys, everything New York Toy Fair. Check out the New York Toy Fair Sunday live stream from Radio Free Cybertron. I'm on it, so definitely check it out. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, plus Radio Free Cybertron's awesome anyway, so you should just go check them out anyways. And use your Amazon links, because they're cool, and we don't have any. And so that's why I'm not saying use our Amazon links. Use theirs, because they have some. <laughs> mm. um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, get hyped for The Last Night too. Transformers 5 The Last Night. Because if you get excited for the movie and get in the mindset that it's going to be a good time, guess what? It's going to be a good time. However, if you want to take it as a serious film that is an accurate representation of the Transformers, don't go. 
It's just or just just be positive about it and go have fun because that's what the movies are about. Listen, just, and just think that's why the movie. I'm really just for think it. of the movie as um, explosions, um, robots, uh, more explosions, and uh, finish it off with a larger explosion, and you'll have a good time. <laughs> oh, you know what? Someone just tweeted at me. Huh. That uh, the Infernicus combiner, the one that we think has a head sculpt sort of like Death's head, but they could be retooled into a Unicron almost, like that head and torso. No, like, think uh, about it. it dude, I don't know if you know this, but U- Unicron isn't a combiner. That's why it would be retooling into all new limbs and stuff. But like using that head and torso, just saying, it would look okay. Uh, but yeah, I'd have to see. Our, I'd have to see that. Check out our other podcasts on the channel. We have uh, Awesome Silo, we have Movie Mania, other stuff like that. With Transformers Last Night coming out soon and the Bumblebee movie director announced, who knows, one of us might be on Movie Mania talking about Transformers stuff Actually, there. Actually, well, if, 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 we, if Movie Mania does a Transformer, uh, if we do something for Transformers, we'll both probably be on that. Yeah, probably. But, um, yeah, make sure you check out those other podcasts versus other stuff, other videos we do. Might be doing a new toy talk soon. Uh, but yeah, other than everything else, check us out on Twitter at Nerdy Geek Talk, and then specifically at TF Primecast, and then myself, Aramis Prime, at Aramis Prime. There should be a link in the description below. Uh, I love to tweet at anybody, and I've had several fans tweet at us, which, at me, which is awesome, so really fun. I love to talk about Transformers, or anything. Just let me know if you like the show, because it's always nice to have people... You know, let me know that they like it and if they listen to it. And it's just fun to talk about Transformers. So, yeah. Where can they find you, Optanimous? They can find me on Twitter at Optanimous Prime. Yep. Uh, and also, you should go on Facebook. And if you don't have a Facebook, uh, you should make one. And join the group Talk Transformers, because you can always find me in there. I like almost every single post. Uh, but it's a really, really fun and nice atmosphere where you can talk Transformers. And just, you know, everyone's not a jerk. Everyone's really nice, that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah. However, if you if you say bad things about Tarn uh, or Six Shot, Eric will he he may become a jerk. There's no bad things to say about Tarn and Six Shot because they're perfect. Uh, Plus, Six Shot has a son. How did he do that? I have no well, idea. Like how? I don't know, but I'm really excited to have Six Shot and his son reunited once this chaos and Velocitron. But how? But I, I, I don't understand. I don't know, man. Which in that case, I mean, unless he just had him built. Ooh, ooh. So a little side note. This is still going to be in the episode, but people, once this is posted, I'm going to have it out on social media and stuff, so people know what it is, but you don't yet. I know. Um... That thing I told you, that's like Transformers related, that I'm going to be getting, but it isn't like a toy or anything. Oh, yeah, that thing, I forgot. I'm getting it today. Yeah, what is it? You'll see, I'm getting it today. Okay, well, wait, wait, wait. Okay, explain to me, like, what is it? Like, not, not, what, like, what purpose? Does it? You said it's not... Big. You'll see. Dude, it's like, it's like, you're going to see in like five hours. How big Less is Less than five it? hours. Not very, at all. How much? It's extremely small. How much did it cost you? A lot. Well, how much did it cost me? None. But it cost a lot. How much? Someone got it for me. You'll see. Because I want to I wanna guess. Like, I want to give me this information. You'll see. You'll see, man. Uh, but it's going to be really cool. I'm going to be a part of it. But. What are you dropping? What are you, what are you doing? We are professionals, sir. No, we're not. Yes, we have. What are you talking about? Bro, I'm so professional. Bio I'm... drivers, Operation Mexican Wave. Mexican? What are you doing? It was a par- it was a parody on. Do you want to be a voice actor someday? I would. I that job would be awesome. You know what you should do? You should go into toy design because that's what I'm doing. We could be fellow toy designers. That would be the best job ever. Then that's what you should do. I well no actually I'd love to be a voice actor. Me too. That would be really fun. Well, okay, not me too, but I totally understand why that why that would be so cool. Like I'm I'm saying yeah, that is really cool. I don't want to do that. I want to design toys. But I can do the best impression of uh, Transformers Prime Soundwave. Want to hear it? Okay, here it is. 
That's pretty good, right? I always feel like somebody's watching me. I have no privacy. Oh. I'm not sure what made me want to sing that, but I just did. So deal with it. Is it the ghost? Feel... Like oh, okay. Come back? So hear me out. Any listeners that are still there, I'm not sure why still there, but congratulations. You get to hear this idea. Uh, what do you think of a Transformers Snapchat? Like me doing a Snapchat, but like for Transformers stuff. Me first? Do you, okay, let me ask you first. Do you have a Snapchat? No, I find it stupid. I don't have one either, but it's extremely popular. It is. It is. And so I think I would like to try to do a Transformers. Like, well, okay. Like, Transformers officially has a has an official Snapchat. But I'm talking about, like, from Primecast own. Snapchat. Yeah, exactly. And, like, I was thinking, like, an Aramis Prime one, and then I'd probably do a TF Primecast one, too. I think it'd be interesting. I was telling Radio Free Cybertron, I asked them if they ever thought about doing a Snapchat, just because I was curious on their view on it. But um, <coughs> I told them they should get an RFC grinder. And someone was like, oh, like from Revenge of the Fallen, Grindor? Oh, yeah, that, that, <laughs> yeah, that, is, that guy who we all thought was Blackout, but then wasn't. <clears throat> exactly, so we need to re- we need to get an account and name it. <laughs> Tia Price, Primecast Grindor. <laughs> Come on, man, that's going to be crazy. I mean, that, that doesn't, that sounds, just, I think you're too hyped up about that. It would be hilarious. So you know what you should start doing? You should start watching Star Wars Rebels. That's a completely different podcast there. True. But I'm trying to get other people that I think would be good to make a legitimate Star Wars podcast, and I think it'd be awesome, especially if you watched Rebels. So you should do that. That's your assignment. What are you doing tonight? Um, everything. No, you're not. You're not doing anything, are you? I am doing things. What are you doing? Things. You're watching Star Wars Rebels now. I congratulations. Actually, I might watch Portals again from R.I.D. No, you should watch. Because that that's an excellent episode. That's, you that's... should watch Star Wars Rebels. You know, honestly, R.I.D. They're Decepticon. I'm just not a fan of the Decepticons in R.I.D. Really, I'm really a fan of the Decepticons. Just that's they're kind of weird. Dude, I'm so excited for Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Thermidor. Bisk was such. Such a good toy, and Thermidor is just a pretty. He's the blue, yeah, the blue lobster. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind Steel Jaw because in Robot. Did you get it? Wait, wait, one. Did you get a Bisque figure? Uh, no. You should get a Thermidor then, or get a Bisque, whichever you like better. But you should definitely get one because it's a really, really cool mold that you will never get ever again because it's it's a it's such a unique and cool transformation. However, I do I do like Scorponok. And I do, I love Starscream now. Yeah, I'm excited for the Skywarp and inevitable Thundercracker repaint. Watch, we'll get Acid Storm first. I'd be okay with that. As long as we get a Thundercracker, I'd be fine with that. Okay, so I was thinking about this other idea of preview reviews, where we take official images of Transformers. It's based off of someone else's uh, TF fan page 101, I think, or something like yeah. that. They do pre-reviews where they look at the official images of revealed Transformers, yep. and they sort of do a review on like how they think it looks and stuff in the figure. And they're like, "But you know, remember, it's not out That's yet. So our opinions are likely to change once we have it." But I don't know. But just like a, but like doing a couple minute video dedicated to one. Oh, specific. okay, okay. Because I was gonna say that's basically what we do now. Yeah. Usually we just stare at new pictures and we're like, look what's out! This is so cool! Normally, say, normally we just um, uh, pull up the picture and then say, that that's that looks really good. Yeah, like the Unicron lamp. But then, hopefully these figures won't be $800 a pop. No, they're going to be 900 <sighs> Hey. I'm I'm putting you in charge of going out and recruiting someone else to join this Wait, podcast. What? Yep, you have a job. I, now go do it. No. Use your use your social media. That's an impossible job. You should just go follow everyone I follow, and then start talking to people. You should be social media active with Transformers stuff, because you're funny, but you should actually talk to people, because then they like you. But right now nobody likes you. 
I'm kidding. Just just nobody show. knows you. What? Do they... No, people know you because people have specifically messaged me telling me how much they love the show. Am I any so... of them? Are you what? Am I in any of the messages? Um, not by name, but you're in every episode, so you they've got to be talking about you. I brought down the computer charger, and I didn't plug it in. Oh, for anyone that is still here, I'm pretty sure I made this clear whenever I said why you're still here, but this is after show. But I'm pretty sure the after show is about to end anyway, so, yeah. Make sure you check me out on Twitter, because I know I've said that enough times, but, like, I really enjoy Twitter, so tweet at me. If you're just, like, thinking about it, and you're like, nah, I don't know if I'm going to just do it, man. Just do it. Or woman. Man or woman. Whatever you are. Or attack helicopter. Oh, I, I, I like the attack helicopter variant. <laughs> Always did like Vortex. Too bad he's dead. Which continuity? Oh, oh, wait. Vortex. I thought you said Blackout. No. Even though Blackout was supposed to be Vortex. That would make more sense. Because then... It, Why would it make any more sense? Because Brawl was in the first one. But that wouldn't make any sense because they didn't combine or seem to know each other. Exactly. See? That, look, uh, hey, look, it's not my hey, fault. Wait, wait, it's wait. Baseball. I have, I have one question. It's baseball. I have a question. I have a question that's not uh, Transformers related. Yeah. Transformers related. What's, your favorite, what's your favorite era of Star Wars? Not movie. What is your favorite era? Like time period. Uh, the time is it? Is it like, like Clone Wars era slash prequel era? Uh, is it like the the original trilogy era of trilogy. like Empire vs. Rally but Rebellion, or is it the sequel trilogy, which is what's going on? No, there? it's it, well, I I do like Episode Seven and I love Rogue One. Well, actually, would you count Rogue One as the original trilogy era? Uh, it's in between. I almost put it as prequel it's okay it's it's the bridge between prequel and original. where would you put would you will we just create the rogue one era it's not no it's literally the bridge between those but two you, it's not its own you era. would still consider that prequel no i consider it literally both because it it 100 percent is both but you don't well well you do see vader a lot well, not a lot, but you do well, see him. not a lot, but you do see him. You do, but you see a lot of prequel characters. Although that also falls in the category: is Rebels a prequel era or original trilogy? I mean, era? I, I, I would think Rogue One would be still would be prequel because, in my opinion, the original trilogy starts um, with, uh, with Luke. Well, actually, no, it doesn't start with Luke. Well, no way, because it starts with Leia. Yeah, exactly. And... Who is at the ending of Rogue One. Carrie Fisher's dead. That makes me so sad. I'd count... I'd count Rogue One as a... Well, why would you just brush that off and show that you don't care about Carrie Fisher? Just You're don't think dead. about it. It's like the unicorn lamp. I don't want to think about either. True. I, I totally understand that like that. I count uh, Rogue One as original. Really? I would count it as both. You were just saying, like, literally ten seconds ago that you think it's pretty cool. Yes, but then I immediately thought how stupid that was. Well, that's because you thought of it. I did think of it, yes. That, did that just fly right by your head? No. I think it did. Well, you didn't take offense to it, so... Well, I mean... I might get a I might get uh, Titans Return leader class sound wave today. I'm probably gonna go a little bit of toy hunting. Aww. So I might get that thing today. Uh, and guess what? I can change it into a street lamp, and you can't because you don't have a street. <gasps> no, no, the lamp mode. No. Yep. And you can't do that yet, dude. They're at Target. I know. I want one, but at the same time, I don't. And dude, come pick up your figures. The ones I ordered for you, your Hot Rod and your Clumper Nemesis Prime. Oh yeah. I will do that soon. You should do it tomorrow. You want to hang out tomorrow? I'm free. Maybe uh, I might be able to pick him up tomorrow. I gotta I gotta check. Okay, I asked if you wanted to hang out tomorrow. Where? I don't know. Want to go bowling again? That was pretty fun. 
maybe, but I, I really feel bad for the people who are still listening. <laughs> I, I was actually just about to say that. If you're still listening, I, I mean, I mean, if, let, me know, if, let me know in some if, way. Oh my god, I keep forgetting to do this. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our dude, YouTube channel. I think they've all left. I'm pretty sure nobody's I think we listening, have to, but if someone is, I really want to let really them know. We should really cut the video, like, um, about ten minutes ago. Oh, yeah, we should have, but I already said it's after show, so I can do it. I mean, if, want, if you I'm really bad. like us talking about possibly going bowling, uh... You're that's, weird. You're probably I mean, that's, If that's your thing, you know... It, uh, I'm not going to judge you, though, because I listen to, like, every second of Radio Free Cybertron streams, and I tweet them daily, multiple times daily, so, you know... I'm not going to judge you, but it's still a little creepy. Okay. I mean, uh, it, okay, uh, then, then this is the new segment of the channel, or the, of the show, where I review things. This is, um, Masterpiece Frenzy. Yes, not, yes, Frenzy, not... Nobody can see you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, uh, Frenzy... And now we're Frenzy ending the episode. Frenzy is red, and he's good. Yeah, Frenzy is red, and Rumble is blue, and if you think that is incorrect... Screw you! I was... Yeah, there you go. I was... I was gonna use inappropriate... Inappropriate uh, language, how dare you... Inappropriate language, but we're... We're, uh, family sensitive, so I can't do that. Even though... Family sensitive? Shut up, man. Okay,